So you certainly have come across this scrub that mental games enhances your cognitive ability. When I say cognitive ability, I'm talking about intelligent quotient or fluid intelligence. Well, before I forget, let me define fluid intelligence and crystal intelligence. Fluid intelligence is the ability to think abstractly, reason quickly, and solve problems independent of previous knowledge or previous experience. Crystal intelligence, on the other hand, is the ability to solve problems based on previous knowledge. As you grow older, crystal intelligence and fluid intelligence increases up till age 25. Above age 25, fluid intelligence begins to depreciate and crystal intelligence continues to increase. Because crystal intelligence has to do with knowledge. So as you live more, you gain more knowledge, you gain more experience. Now, crystal intelligence enables you to apply previous knowledge to solve novel problems. Whereas fluid intelligence expects you to see a problem, no experience, but you're capable of solving that same problem. So that's what fluid intelligence is all about. Now, it's said that mind games or mental games is good for cognitive ability, for intelligence quotient, for fluid intelligence. But it's not true. I mean, it's a scrap because psychologists have done this research for more than 50 years and they've not found any correlation between mental games and fluid intelligence. In fact, they've even done a correlation between, a correlation investigation between the fact that you're gaming good at one game and then that would mean you're good at another game. It came negatively correlated, simply meaning that, well, there is no correlation between the fact that you can play the game of chess very well and that translates to you play, playing the game of Monopoly very well. No. It simply means that, okay, you're winning the game of chess, as you keep playing the game of chess, you get better. You start playing the game of Monopoly, as you keep playing the game of Monopoly, you get better. But the fact that you're good in game of Monopoly and you can play the game of chess very well, it does not work. It's not true. So it, press, it, it clearly tells us that, well, mental games does not boost your fluid intelligence. But what works? What works if this doesn't work? Simple. One is cardiovascular exercise. Cardiovascular and weightlifting exercise work. And why so? Because at least during exercise, the blood receives more oxygen, sorry, the brain receives more oxygen from the blood. And then when it gets this oxygen, it can use this oxygen to create nerve cells and stabilize the brain from deteriorating. So you saw the brain deteriorating, it stays balanced at that point in order to enhance your fluid intelligence. So rather than your fluid intelligence dropping, it remains fairly constant. So if you understand the fact that physical cardiovascular exercises, weightlifting exercise work, then you will not joke with you keeping fit. Yesterday, um, the other day I spoke about what are you doing that is actually ruining your life. You might be fat, you might be uh, obese and all of that. Begin to take your mental, your physical exercise very seriously because aside from the fact that it keeps you in good shape, it keeps you fit, it helps in maintaining your fluid intelligence. It's been, it's been researched and it's been proven. I mean, you have two elders. One used to walk at least every day. We may take a walk for at least 10 or 20 meters or maybe 100 meters every day. And the other one stay docile every day. When you give them problems, you'll discover that the one that does exercises do better than the other one. So it's clearly proven by psychology that the only thing that stops your brain from deteriorating is physical exercise, that is cardiovascular and weightlifting exercise. Another thing you should know, what, what, well, we have other good thing exercise could do to you, it makes you healthy, it makes you fit. Personally, sometimes when I feel sick, I enter the road. And of course, I hardly fall sick for about four, for more than seven years now, and I don't easily get sick. Once I begin to feel somehow, I enter the road. And I am regularly exercising. People that know me, know me for that. So clearly understand this. Aside from every other good thing like good shape, good body, confidence, um, standing tall, health, fitness and all of that, exercising stops your brain from deteriorating. It keeps your fluid intelligence constant. So do not joke with this exercise. At least three or four times a week and show you go out for exercise. And if you must, if you're, if you're a student learning, if you go to exercise in the morning, your brain works better when you're in class learning. Because morning exercises is actually the best. It actually helps the brain to think through the day. Evening exercise, well, it's proven because most of, most of the work we do, we rest at night. But evening exercise is also good, but morning exercise is better. Well, thanks for listening again. <laughs>